Hello everyone, my name is Prasenjit and today I'll talk about GitOps. This session is meant for GitOps beginners to grasp the concepts and uh, get onboarded. And I'll do that in a unique way by telling you a story. So this story is an analogy that will help you understand GitOps and relate it to concepts. And we call this story a tall tale of GitOps. Now, before we begin, a little bit about me. My name is Prasenjit Singh, and I am the Cloud and DevOps Director at Stars Play Dubai. We are a large scale media streaming service in the Middle East and North Africa region. And uh, I am also a subject matter expert and trainer at Coursera. I am an AWS community builder. CNCF speaker and speak widely at different meetups and I also like to teach a lot so I have recently opened up a YouTube channel called bin pipe you can subscribe to that as well so let's get started with the tall tale of GitOps. so what is cooking what are we going to learn today well as I said this session is a beginner session and I'll tell you a story and that story is about a honeybee and uh, using that story and the analogies we will be able to relate about GitOps practices and understand what it is for when to use it and how to use it well once upon a time there was a little honeybee his name was git bee he had lost his parents and lived with his grandma, uh, Lily Bee. Now, Lily Bee, the grandma, owned the largest pastry shop in town, and the shop was famous for honey cakes, honey waffles, and a special rainbow donut called Unicorn Poop. As days passed, Lily Bee was growing old and weak, and she asked Git Bee to help her with her business. And that's how Git B started working on his grandma's pastry shop. And as Git B started working with his grandma in her cake shop, uh, grandma realized that Git B wasn't an ordinary little bee. He was uh, more intelligent and brighter than others his age and believed in smart work rather than slogging it out with monotonous chores. On his first day as an apprentice, Grandma Lily asked him to bake three different flavors of honey cake and asked him uh, to do the same thing every day for the rest of the week. Now, Gidby being smart and organized, uh, made a list of ingredients and uh, that were used to make the batter for the cakes and he put those batter in separate mixing bowls and tagged them and if he needed more batter of a particular flavor he could use the same amount of ingredients and literally clone his batter bowl also since um, there were other worker bees in the factory all of them needed to have access to the batter and other ingredients so tagging and organizing the raw materials helped Gidby to allow his team members to work in unison on the same recipe so that way granny b's problems were getting solved she has this problem of not being able to manufacture a large amount of cakes because of uh, because she was getting old and her workers didn't couldn't work well without direction and organization so those were her problems and git b solved this problem by tagging the different ingredients and tagging the different bowls and separating mixing bowls with different uh, flavors of the batter that were going to be used to bake the cakes. Git B being smart organized the ingredients that made the batter in separate mixing bowls and tagged them. If he needed more of the batter of a particular flavor, he could use same amount of ingredients and literally clone his batter bowl. Also, since there were other worker bees in the factory, all of them needed to have access to the batter 
and other ingredients of course so tagging and organizing the raw materials helped Gidby allow his team uh, members to work in unison on the same recipe and uh, even if some of them were working on different recipes, there was no risk of ingredients getting mixed up. So it improved their productivity. They could have multiple different uh, cakes rolled out and they became more organized in the way they were uh, making or baking their cakes. Now, if we want to correlate Gitby's uh, tagging system uh, to software development, we can see that uh, Git uh, is a version control system used for tracking changes in computer files. It is generally used for source code management and software development. Git is used for tracking changes in the source code and uh, it also allows multiple developers to work together similar to how multiple worker bees were able to bake cakes and uh, it also supports nonlinear development through its thousands of parallel branches so using git we can uh, develop um, multiple features have a multi uh, developer team uh, all working together towards the same end product but each one working independently on a separate feature so all those could be enabled so that is what git is all about now let's go get, uh, get back to the story now um, there would be times when grandma Lily B would get a large number of orders from across the town and they would need multiple worker bees on baking multiple cakes and of multiple flavors of course. Here Git B had another idea. He forked out his batter into separate containers dedicated to worker bees and assigned them the tasks now similar to how git be worked with multiple worker bees on multiple um, cake recipes and was able to roll out his cakes faster uh, using a versioning similarly in software development we can use git and use and take advantage of its various features like it allows you to track history of whatever code you are writing and uh, that opens up the possibility of making mistakes and then going back and correcting them and um, of course it's free and open source it supports non-linear development and creates uh, backups uh, as I said you can roll back anytime if you're using Git. it's scalable you can have multiple people using the same repository working on the same projects forking out their different features and working on them and uh, of course it supports collaboration it's easy to branch out different forks and uh, it allows distributed environment which is very important in today's times when we are all working remotely so distributed uh, development is uh, indispensable for uh, helping an engineering team to succeed now uh, the process of baking cakes wasn't an easy task it involved a series of steps from mixing the ingredients whipping the batter adding eggs um, and baking it in the oven and finally topping it with the cream now git b felt these tasks being repetitive can be defined as a workflow so he wrote down the rules and the sequence of tasks to follow until the cake is baked so he had his series of sequences perfectly defined and uh, he knew what to do and what would come after the other Similarly, in software development world, as software applications become more and more sophisticated, the demands on infrastructure increases. Infrastructure teams need to support complex deployments and at an immense scale and speed. While much of application development has been automated, infrastructure has remained largely a manual process requiring specialized teams. Infrastructure as a code uh, and tools like Ansible and Terraform are a good start, but they don't solve the entire problem. Um, the teams need a perspective or a workflow uh, that puts infrastructure as code into action automatically. Now that is where the term GitOps comes in. 
so you have your tools ansible terraform uh, but these are all distributed tools they would not uh, allow you to make an end-to-end -end, uh, deployment or automation of your infrastructure as code so using GitOps joins all these dots and uh, allows you to deploy everything automatically just as git be uh, worked out how he could automate his steps of baking the cake by uh, putting down all the steps that occur and uh, creating a documentation out of it similarly at its core GitOps is code based infrastructure and operational procedures that rely on git as a source control system it is an evolution of infrastructure as code and a devops best practice that leverages git as a single source of truth and control mechanism for creating updating and deleting architecture more simply it is the practice of git pull request to verify and automatically deploy uh, system infrastructure modifications in addition to git as a key devops mechanism gitops is used to describe tools that augment git uh, default functionalities GitOps ensures that there is a uh, systems cloud infrastructure is immediately reproducible uh, based on the state of the Git repository, of course, and the pull requests modify the state of the Git repository. And uh, once approved and merged, the pull requests will automatically reconfigure and sync the live infrastructure to the state of the repository. This live syncing pull request workflow is the core essence of GitOps. Now going back to our story, one fine morning the queen bee sent an order for a gigantic layered honey cake and scores of unicorn poop donuts. Granny bee who was uh, used to manually baking and everything declared it was impossible to get the order completed because the timeline was very short. Queen bee wanted the order to be delivered by evening and that is when Git bee our hero jumped in again he uh, buzzed around in enthusiasm and said uh, friends i got another idea yet another idea yes i'll automate everything and he set out to build a chain reaction machine wow what was that the machine was um, actually dictated by logic and physics and worked on the principles of cause and effect and whoosh from mixing the ingredients to whipping the batter to molding the cake baking cooling it over icing and garnishing everything was a part of the chain reaction machine and if you folks are wondering what would that chain reaction machine look like it is something like this a cause and effect machine you might have seen this one thing leads to the another and that's how our uh, hero git be devised a machine that would bake the cake and the unicorn poops that would be needed for uh, delivering the queen's order similarly gitops is equal to infrastructure of code plus cicd now gitops uses git repository as a single source of truth for infrastructure definitions now using these concepts we can build our own cause and effect machine just like git b a git repository is a dot git folder in a project that tracks all the changes made to the files in the project over time now infrastructure as code is the practice of keeping all infrastructure configurations as code the actual desired state may or may not be stored as code example uh, say if you're using uh, kubernetes the number of replicas pods and all those information may not be stored as code and then you use the mechanism of merge requests and GitOps uses merge requests as the change mechanism for all the infrastructure. The MR is where uh, teams can collaborate uh, via reviews and comments and formal approvals take place and finally the merge commits um, to your master branch and then serves as a change log for auditing and troubleshooting in the future.
and uh, also another component of GitOps is the CI CD pipeline and GitOps automates infrastructure updates uh, using a Git workflow and uh, it incorporates a continuous integration and continuous delivery now when new code is merged the CI CD pipeline enacts the change in the environment and uh, any configuration drift such as manual changes or errors is overwritten by GitOps automation so the environment converges on the desired state defined in Git any configuration drift such as manual changes or errors is overwritten by GitOps automation so the environment converges on desired state defined in the Git repository. Now this approach has a lot of benefits. The GitOps framework makes infrastructure automation possible and while automation has a value in itself, it is not uh, the only advantage of GitOps. Organizations that adopt GitOps enjoy other benefits that can make a long-term impact. Since every change will go through the same change merge request review approval process, senior engineers can focus on other areas Areas beyond critical infrastructure management now improved access control is there there is no need to give um, credentials uh, to infrastructure components so they will just have to work on their git repositories and all the other key based authentications are separately configured so you don't have to individually uh, share the configuration so there is less risk uh, less risk all the changes are tracked through merge requests so you can keep on keep an eye on the changes um, then because this is all automated it leads to a faster time to market so execution via code is faster than manual point and click test cases are automated and repeatable so uh, stable environments can be delivered rapidly with GitOps and uh, auditing is simplified you have all the records in place and with GitOps all changes to environments are stored in the Git log making audits simple as I said and automation of the infrastructure definition and testing uh, eliminates all the manual tasks that uh, were being done so that's how GitOps helps and that's how it works now going back to the story the cause and the effect machine was a huge hit it wasn't a simple machine though it was a unison of multiple moving parts for specialized functions uh, it even had an option to declare the flavor color and gradient variants for each end product and using that machine the cakes were being baked faster and more efficiently now GitOp tools are no different than the cause and effect machine that we saw some time ago this one well uh, what makes uh, GitOps unique is that it's not a single product plugin or platform GitOps is a framework that helps teams to manage IT infrastructure through processes uh, that they already use in application development popular tools like uh, um, Ansible, Terraform, Kubernetes and so on but GitOps process is largely technology agnostic um, except uh, for Git of course without it GitOps wouldn't uh, exist now GitOps is suited for a variety of scenarios GitOps and Kubernetes um, is a particularly good match uh, for example Kubernetes works on all major cloud platforms and uses stateless and immutable uh, uh, common GitOps tools uh, and containers containerized apps uh, running in Kubernetes are self-contained so you don't need to provision and configure services for each app provision Kubernetes clusters and other needed infrastructure like databases networking etc using Terraform and you can deploy stateful applications with ease now automating the workflow using automations and uh, the cause and effect machine 
allowed Gitpi to roll out hundreds of different recipes round the clock and uh, his machine and his uh, cake shop was a big hit. Queen B personally congratulated Git B for his uh, efficient practices that led to faster delivery and consistency in the quality and conferred him the B award. Claps. So what are the takeaways, the best practices of GitOps? Uh, one of the main things is to document what you cannot automate if it's not always possible to automate everything because that's very important because half automation is more dangerous. Like if you're doing manually, you know you can do things manually. But if, if you have parts automated and parts manual, then documentation should be well written and you should work on uh, ways to automate those steps uh, that have yet not been automated now the second thing is it is important to familiarize GitOps teams with git and code reviews some teams already use a git repository as a place to store config code but don't use features like merge requests as a starting point take a look at the code review guidelines and uh, try to induct the team into these practices once the teams are familiar with the tool and practices implement mandatory reviews to ensure code reviews happen every um, uh, every week say or every few days and and always remember to keep these guidelines simple so that it is easy to follow and not work around it and that's exactly what git b and grandma lily did so that's the end of our little analogy and beginning of your journey into GitOps. We don't have uh, much time left uh, today for a live demonstration. I would rather leave you with some useful repositories and resources that will help you pursue GitOps and try out the demos. There are demo links also. I'll be sharing that in the next slide. So you can visit that repository and try out um, the steps and read the notes about GitOps that will help you uh, work on GitOps. And you can reach me out anytime for any help uh, if you need to get onboarded with DevOps uh, and GitOps practices. In conclusion, uh, GitOps is an incredibly powerful workflow pattern for managing uh, modern cloud infrastructure. GitOps can bring many benefits to an engineering team, including improved time to market, visibility, stability, and system reliability. It allows you to be more productive uh, as a developer, as a DevOps engineer, and makes your finished product less prone to errors. Now back to the story, our little Gidby's cake shop is now the most sought after in town and thanks to Gidby's cause and effect machine and his declarative delivery pipeline and uh, thanks to GitOps. To subscribe to my channel, uh, reach me to learn more about DevOps on my email address and you can check out this repository at GitHub and learn more about GitOps practices. Thank you.